Hey everybody, this is Duran from Artlist and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are gonna talk about how you guys can shoot and plan a video while working with choreography. Let's jump in. If you haven't seen our dance commercial yet, I suggest you pause this video and check it out. Link is in the description below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more awesome content like this. And you better stick around because we have a sweet giveaway waiting for you in the end of the video. First step is references. Start by searching the web for different commercials or videos shot with dance choreography and choose the style you like. There are many styles and options out there, so make sure you choose the right style for you. You can make it a one-shot or just separate it into cuts and takes throughout the video. Next step will be choosing a song. You're working on a dance video, so you'll have to choose music before you start working with a dancer. Check out Artlist to find amazing music for your videos. We're also adding new music on a daily basis. Link is in the description below. Third step will be frame blocking. If you decided you're going to shoot on several locations, try to figure out beforehand in which part of the songs your dancer will move between them. You can do it with a simple cut, an in-camera transition like a whip pan, or just make your dancer step in and out of frame. Fourth step, action points. Now that you have your song and you have your frame blocking, it's time to plan out your shots. Listen to the song and try to find the action points. These are parts where the song is changing in tempo, instruments, or vocals. about the actions or dance moves you want your dancer to perform in these specific moments. Use the different rooms, structures, items, or furnitures you have available on set to enhance the choreography. Play around with the environment to really bring everything to life. It's recommended to do this process with your dancer. They can give you a lot of input which will improve the end result. Next step, rehearsals, rehearsals, and yes, more rehearsals. Take the time to sit down with your dancer and communicate your vision. Talk about the general feeling you want to convey with your video. Talk about the energy, the mood, the pace. Go over the marks and actions you've planned and start building and rehearsing together. And here's some extra tips in case everything we've told you by now wasn't enough. Take those extra cutaway shots to get more flexibility in the editing room. You never know when you'll have to cut away from your main shot. A good creator is always flexible. Try to be open for changes and listen to your dancer and fellow creators to get the best results when things don't go as planned. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, slap it, slap that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel with the notification bell on. Now, let's talk about that Ooh, sweet, sweet giveaway. One lucky winner will win a one year free subscription to Artlist and ooh, this amazing hat. Here is the winner from our last video. All you need to do to enter this giveaway is like, subscribe and comment down below what do you want us to talk about next? Till then, stay creative. Black.